Evening, everybody. Welcome to Platform 94. This is a very special night if you are a member of any of the underage teams that are preparing for your respective cup competitions because this evening we choose who plays who. That might sound a little bit cruel. I don't have that job. My guest on my right hand side actually does. It's uh, well, none other than a man who's recovering from a shoulder injury at the minute, but we will see him back in the green of Connacht very soon. A man who's had a fantastic season, in fact, in Carl Ford. And I'll talk to him in just a moment. Now, there are a few formats that I have to go through regarding each of the competitions. We're doing the draws this evening for the under 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 and a half cups. These competitions get huge crowds into uh, the Dexcom Stadium every single year and of course i want to just welcome uh, dexcom and their sponsorship of the ground and we look forward to calls dexcom stadium in the future but for now we are going to focus on who plays in the initial rounds of this cup competition i'll go through the different formats as we go through each of the different age groups but first of all i want to talk to the man who has the job of doing this uh, draw call ford you know, you've played in these underage cup competitions with Corinthians. These are very special for everyone who plays at this age group. Yeah, look, they're massively important as well. It's uh, it's obviously it's always very exciting when the cup draw is made, and you always loved the league is obviously class and it's and it's uh, it's it's really good. But the cup is always the ex the exciting one, and to play the final in in Dexcom Stadium now is would be uh, it was always a dream come true when you're a young lad. And it always is that, you know, that goal for these young players, no matter where they come from. You know, the one thing about the Cup is it's so special. Any team can beat anyone. And we've seen teams come from absolutely nowhere to get to the final. So this is their opportunity to show it. That's it, yeah. Like, I've, I've been a part of teams that maybe haven't been great on paper and we've, we've done incredibly well. And then I've been a part of teams that we've, I don't know, we've had, we've had the blessing best players we could ask for and we've we've lost in the quarter semi-finals so mm. it's uh there is a lot to play for for them yeah there's been a couple of those experiences all right <laughs> that i've known through the years um any message for the guys who are watching and girls because we're going to be doing the girls cup draw a little bit later on any message for them because you know they're excited about competition like this they want to to do well that you have come through the ranks you know you started with corinthians went through the ranks at underage now part of the the connect setup you know i know you have an injury but you've had an amazing few months up to this point and a lot of people have been talking about your performances in the center so these kids will be watching you and maybe hoping to emulate what you've done no i i just say enjoy enjoy your rugby like Especially these cup days, obviously it's it's knockout and stuff. So you never really know how many games you're going to get uh, in them. So just enjoy every game and yeah, just have have the crack. Yeah, and uh, as somebody who's covered your career from very young, I hate to admit um, that's one thing you've always done is enjoy your rugby. I mean that's the that's the thing about it. And and it doesn't matter what club they play with. If they play together, they're all friends. And I've seen it with even with your own age groups going through the years. You know, you've all stayed together. A lot of you played. You know, underage, seconds, juniors, firsts up to you know the, the high the high levels. So I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's the friendship, it's the camaraderie, and it's it's having fun. That's the important thing. That's it. Yeah, there. You make great friendships with 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 these players, and like I take Owen the Butler for example. I've played with him since under 13s, and we've played anything from up to Connacht Eagles, Irish 20s, and now we're playing pro rugby together. So it's. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, absolutely. Well, you've got a rather interesting job to do. We'll get to that in just a second, but I want to just talk about the different age groups once again. Now, as I said, there are slightly different format changes. Uh, now, when I say changes, not changes from last year per se, but the way that the formats line out in different age groups, and I'll explain now in a moment. The under-13s, for example, we will start with the unseeded teams, and they will be all drawn out to play each other. The first unseeded team will get a bye straight into the last 16, where the seeded teams then come into it. The seeded teams will be drawn in a particular way. First seeded team will be at home, the second will be away, and so on until the draw is made. Clear as mud? I thought so. We'll try and talk it through as we go anyway. And uh, to each team, we wish you all the very best of luck. And we are starting with under 13, which saw a certain Mr. Rowan, part of a Ballina side. And I don't mean Willie, but his younger lad was part of the Ballina side that won the under 13 cup when they beat Craigs in the final. And will they defend their title? Well, you've got Ballina Green, who are one of the seeded teams, Buccaneers, Corinthians Black, Craigs, 
Galway Bay, Galwegians, Loch Ray, Sligo and Westport. They're all the seeded teams. We will see ye in the last 16 in a couple of minutes time. But now it gives me a chance to just mention the unseeded teams who are now part of this draw. And they are Balnaslow, Ballinrobe, Carrick and Shannon, Clare Morris, Castle Bar, Corinthians Blue, Connemara Uchtarard, Corrib, Tume, Munavay, Gort, Ballina Navy, and finally Dunmore. These are all the unseeded teams. They are going to be drawn out first. And like I said, the first team that are drawn out will actually get a buy directly into the next round. So, Forty, if you would, draw the first team who will thank you forever because they'll be going straight into the round of 16. And that is Dunmore. Get the buy. So Dunmore will get a buy and they will go straight through. So we're going to call Dunmore team A for the, uh, uh, just to keep everything going. Next up, and this team will be at home in the preliminary round. And they are Gort. So Gort will be at home and they will play. Ballina Navy, getting the long spin down to Gort. They'll love that. It's a nice, just nice, nice spin from Ballina to Gort. I've done it once. Next up at home. Colts Park, the venue for Claire Morris. And who's travelling to them? Tume, not that far. So Claire Morris will be at home to Tume. Next team up. And they are Connemara Ugderard. So now, will that game be in the monastery field or will it be in Ugderard? We'll figure that out. Anyway, the team travelling to them. Oh, they're not that. <laughs> Carry on, Shannon. Wow. I think that's the longest journey possible. I think um, Sligo to Gort is another one, but Connemara for Carrick and Chance to travel to. Ooh, that's going to be a nice spin for them, but it'll be a great day out. And they have a great chance of going into the next round. Next up are Ballon Robe. And they are playing. And Ballon Robe will face Corinthians Blue. So not that far of a journey for, for Corinthians, really. Just through Headford and you're there. Next up, Carob. So Carob will be at home. Who's going to Headford for this? Monave. Now, just to make sure what is left. We've got two left. So I didn't, uh, I don't know who they are, but I think by process of elimination, we've got Castle Bar. And Castlebar, of course, play their home games in Clondesh, a very famous ground. And they're playing Balnaslow. So I'm going to recap these preliminary round uh, teams first. So the first one is Dunmore. They get a bye into the last 16. Gort will take on Ballina Navy. Claire Morris will face Chum. Connemara Ugderard will welcome Carrick and Shannon. Ballon Robe will take on Corinthians Blue. Corb will face Monave and Castlebar, they will take on Ballina Slow. So they are the preliminary round games for the uh, Under-13 Cup. And of course, all the dates will be up on the Connacht Rugby website very, very shortly. So it is time to bring in the, uh, the seeded teams. And we've also got... Uh, uh, now, this is the, the seeded teams. We're going to draw the seeded teams out first. And the first seeded team will be drawn at home. The second seeded team will be drawn away. And we're going to do it in that manner until the draw is completed. So the first seeded team, and they will be drawn at home. So who gets the home draw? <laughs> he showed it to me, but he said, <laughs> Corinthians Black are at home. That's... <coughs> Choice. Yeah, excellent choice. Uh, I think he'll be allowed in the clubhouse for another while. <laughs> uh, now, the next team, and these, this team will actually be drawn away. So, who's going to be travelling? Galwegians. I can see conspiracy theorists throughout straight, <laughs> uh, in, in huge numbers. But anyway, next up, and this team are going to be now drawn at home, and it's Buccaneers. So, Buccaneers will be at home, and the next team that are drawn out from the seeded teams will be drawn away, and it's Craig's. I won't be very popular with that. Next up, and this is at home, 
is Westport. Westport, of course, brilliant club in uh, previous years, won a junior cup last year at adult level, decent as underage. And they're going to be playing Ballina Green. No, sorry, Ballina Green are going to be away. It would help if I actually wrote it down properly. Now I do. So are they, is that it, or have we any more seeded teams? We have four more, I think. Okay. So next of our seeded teams, and it's Galway Bay who are at home and, uh, and away. This team will be drawn away and it's Sligo. Now we go to the last of our seeded teams and they will be playing Corinthians Black. So they actually have to make the journey. So Carl, just to make it official, the last of the seeded teams are Loch Ray. And we now have one of the pairings for the last 16 of the under 13 cup. And while I have a moment, Let's also acknowledge our sponsors of all underage cup competitions in the province, and they are the wonderful people at Bank of Ireland. I didn't mention that in my introduction. Glad I'm getting the opportunity to do that now. Now, we're going to move on to the draw for the last 16. And as I explained, they, each of the seeded teams are drawn home and away in order, with the exception of the draw that features Corinthians Black and Lockray. That's already been done. That's set in stone. That game is going to be as it is. But we now know, and we now will know shortly, where Galwegians, Buccaneers, Craigs, Westport, Balna Green, Galway Bay and Sligo, what will be their destination. So, Carl, if you would put the winners of the preliminary round games into the cup, and we will now go in in their order. So the first team out will be the winner of preliminary round D. Now that's Ballinrobe and Corinthians Blue, and they I'm just make sure I've got this right, yes, that they would be actually at home to Galwegians. Buccaneers are at home in the next. Who do they face? And they are the winner of prelim F which is Castlebar or Balnasloe. Next up, who is uh, going to be at home to Craig's? And it's done more. So we get a local derby just across. Actually, you know what? You, you, you drive in about 20 minutes from Dunmore to Craig's. Someone say that's a bit fast, but uh, I've done it. Dunmore to Craig's, short spin for the Craig's lads. Next up, and this is prelim A. And these, uh, this is the team that will be travelling to Westport. So it's Gort or Ballina that will be at home to, or will be away to Westport. Ballina Green, they will play the winner of Prelim C, which is uh, Connemara, uh, Uchterard or Carrick. And that'll be, uh, and so it's a nice spin to Ballina. Carrick and Shannon will probably hope that's what they get. And if for Connemara Oak, the ride will have a good day out, definitely with that. Now, the winner of Prelim E, which is Carb or Monave, they are on the road to Galway Bay. And finally, the last of the teams to play in the last 16 will be the winner of Prelim B, and that's Claire Morris or Chum. So we have the draw now for the last 16 of the under 13 cup, and it is as follows. As we already know, Corinthians will take on Loch Ray. D, that is Banslow or Corinthian Blue, they will be at home to Galwegians. Buccaneers will play either Castlebar or Banslow. Dunmore will face Craigs. Westport will take on the winners of Gort or Ballina. Uh, Connemara, Uchterard, the amalgamation side, they, uh, of course, have got a big one in uh, their game against Carrick and Shannon with the winner of that game. They will be at home to Ballina Green. Goy Bay will face uh, Carob or Monave, and finally, it is Claire Morris or Chum, and they will be at home to Sligo in the last 16 of the Bank of Ireland Connacht Under-13 Cup for season 2023-24. And remember, the finals and all finals will be held at Dexcom Stadium, and full details of dates and the fixtures will be on the Connacht Rugby website very, very shortly. Right, that is the Under-13s out of the way. Now we move on to the Under-14s, and I did mention that there is slight changes and the reason i'm saying that is because from here on in it's done in pool form the way that the pools are lined out you will have uh, the seeded teams drawn all the way through so it'll be one into team a team b team c and team d all the way through until the seeded teams are all drawn and then the unseeded teams will be drawn to join them there are four pools of five teams and last season it was corinthians black 
who took the title when they beat Sligo. I want to mention the seeded teams for a start. You've got Balnaslow, Corinthians, Craigs, Galwegians, Ballina, Sligo, Claremorris, Buccaneers, Galway Bay and Lockray. And they will be drawn, as I have said, and Cahill's going to draw them out. The first team will go into Pool A, second team into Pools B, C, D and so on until all the teams are drawn and it's four pools of five teams just to repeat that so if we could have the seeded teams for the bank of ireland under 14 cup and there's quite a few in this the pool stages are always interesting call because you know you actually get another chance if you lose your first game you have a chance of making it up in the second game and that's what's great about it because teams do get a chance to redeem themselves they might have had an off day the first time out and there's still an opportunity for them to make those quarter final spots that's it yeah <coughs> it is it's, it's a good format and it's it's also good for the say the lower teams because <coughs> if they lose the first one then they have an opportunity in the next one and it's uh, it's good it's fair yeah it is it is it is the fair it's the right way you know i mean yeah. sometimes knockout rugby can be very cruel at an older level at underage you want to keep them playing as much rugby as they possibly can well into the spring and and on and past that yeah yeah exactly right well let's move on to the pools so the first team that we are going to draw out will go into pool a so the first team up and this will be in pool a so balana are in pool a so into pool b and the first team that will go into pool b are and it's galwegians now we move to pool c first team that will go into pool c are and it's corinthians Corinthian Park is going to be a very busy place over the sum, over the over the spring, and we moved to Pool D, and that is Buccaneers. So we have our first four teams in Pool A is Ballina, Pool B is Galwegians, Pool C Corinthians, and Pool D is Buccaneers. Next team out go into Pool A. So who's going to join Ballina in Pool A? And it's Clare Morris. So it's, there's a bit of a local derby there. Balna and Claremore scores in the same pool. Who's going to join Galwegians? And it's Balna Slow. Next up for Pool C, who's joining Corinthians? And in, joining Corinthians are Galway Bay. And finally for Pool D, and joining Buccaneers are Sligo. And these teams have had some absolute humdingers over the years, Buccaneers and Sligo, and I have a feeling it'll be the same at this age group. Next to Pool A, it's Craigs. Now we move on to the last team that we will be drawing out. This team will be going into Pool B. They will be the third team in that pool, and it is Loch Ray. So we now know the story as regards half the makeup of the four pools of five teams. We have two more teams in A and B and three more for C and D. But let's recap on the teams in Pool A. It's Ballina, Clermars and Craigs in Pool B. It's all Galway. Galwegians, Lockery and Balnaslow in Pool C. It's Corinthians and Galway Bay. And in Pool D, it's Buccaneers and Sligo. And already I can see A and B being incredibly tasty. But it depends on what happens as regards the unseeded teams who will all have a, a fancy a shot at the other teams in their respective groups. So if we can have the unseeded teams for a second, I'm just going to line out the unseeded teams, if I may, for a minute before we put them in. So uh, the unseeded teams will start with Carrick and Shannon. We've got Chum, Monave, Corrib, Westport, Ballinrobe, Ballyhonas, Dunmore, Connemara, Uchtarard, and finally, Gort. They are our teams that are now going to join the other side. So, can I give it a swirl, and we're going to go into the first team that will go into Pool C of the Under-14 Cup, and they are Ballyhonas. So, Ballyhonas, they join Corinthians and Galway Bay. Next into Pool D, and they are Carrick and Shannon. So Carrick will get a bit of a local derby against Sligo and won't fear going down to uh, Dewberry Park to take on Buccaneers either. Now we move, we have our three in each group and we now move into the fourth team in each group and it's Ballinrobe. So Ballinrobe are now in Pool A alongside Ballina, Claire Morris and Craigs. To B is Dunmore. So Dunmore will be going, uh, will be playing either, Gal will be playing Galwegians, Ballinslow and Loch Ray in Pool C. 
is Connemara Ukterard. And they are with Corinthians, Goy Bay and Ballyhonas. And next up in Pool D, it's Gort. So Gort are there with Buccaneers, Sligo and Carrick and Shannon. So there should be four teams left and they are the four teams that will finish the pool stages of the under 14 uh, cup sponsored by Bank of Ireland. And it's Toome who are first up. So Toome are in Pool A with Ballina, Clare Morris, Craigs and Ballinrobe. To Pool B, Galwegians, Balanslow, Lockery and Dunmore will be joined by Munave. I must admit that's a very nice tight group as well geographically. Next up to C and they are Westport. Now that will be a game for the, that, uh, that'll be some crack. We've got Corinthians, Westport, Goy Bay, Ballyhonas and Connemara, Uktarad. And finally in Pool D and they are Corrib. There we have it. Our four pools of five teams for the Bank of Ireland under 14 Cup. Who's going to emulate Corinthians who won it last year? Well in Pool A you've got Ballina, Claire Morris, Craigs, Ballinrobe and Chum. In Pool B, it's Galwegians, Balnasloe, Lockray, Dunmore and Munavay. In Pool C, you have Corinthians, Goy Bay, Ballyhonas, Connemara, Uchtarard and Westport. And in Pool D, it's Buccaneers, Sligo, Carrick and Shannon, Gort and uh, the uh, last team, which I... Corb, of course. I, I can't even read my own writing. It's Corb who are in Pool D. We are now going to move into the under-15 cup draw. Uh, Buccaneers Black won this last year when they beat Craigs in the final. Now there are, as I can see, seven seeded teams. So we'll be doing the very same thing again. The seven seeded teams go into it. We have got three groups of five and one group of four in this. Pool D is the group of four, just to make that point clear. Uh, the seeded teams are Corinthians Black, Sligo, Ballina, Buccaneers, Westport, Craigs and the amalgamated Goa Bay Galwegians. So if we can have the seeded teams for the under 15 cup. So if you would put them in and we'll start with the first team in pool A and they are Sligo. So Sligo are in pool A and they are in a pool of five. Next up in the pool of five are Corinthians Black. So let me just write that down. Corinthians Black are in pool B. In Pool C, you have Ballina. And finally in Pool D, and this will be the group of four, and it's Buccaneers. So books are in a pool of four. So we now have four of the seeded teams drawn. We're going to draw three more of the seeded teams, and then we'll move on to the unseeded teams who will fill the spots. And they are, Craigs are in Pool A. So uh, next up, joining Corinthians Black are Westport and the last of the pool of the seeded teams a bigger part in the pools is the Galway Bay Galway, uh, Galway, Galway Galwegians so we have they are the seven teams now drawn into their respective pools in A it's Sligo and Craigs in B Corinthians Black and Westport in C it's Balna and the Galway Bay Galwegians amalgamated side and in D it's Buccaneers so we'll now get the unseeded teams and I'm just going to, uh, list them, going to list them off before we uh, and I'll put them in as we do so. We've got Carrick and Shannon, Dunmore, Balnaslow, Monave, Lockray, Gort, Corinthians Blue, Corrib, Connemara Ugtarard, Claire Morris, Castlebar and Ballinrobe. So the next team drawn will actually go into Pool D, will be part of the four team group alongside Buccaneers. And they are Ballinrobe. So Ballinrobe are, just to make a note of this, Ballinrobe are in with Buccaneers. So we now have four pools with two teams each. So it's clean run from here on in, all going well. Castlebar are in Pool A. They're alongside Sligo and Craigs. In Pool B is Connemara Ugtarard. Uh, I have to say, it's getting, this is wide open. Uh, into Pool C, and it's Claire Morris. Now, next up into Pool D, and it is Gort. 
So Gort are in pool D. Next I will keep going and we'll go into pool A again. And again it is Balneslow. Pool B. Corrib. Pool C. And it's Dunmore. And pool D. And it is Carrick and Shannon. Well, four of the five teams drawn for each of the pools. We've got four teams left. So let's see who goes into, or sorry, three teams left. I beg your pardon, because there's only one group with four in it. Loch Ray are in group A. NMB is Corinthians Blue, who would be in the same group as Corinthians Black. Local derby. <laughs> Can't be any more local. Munave are the last of the teams. So we now have our full group draw for the Bank of Ireland Under-15 Cup, and it is as follows. Sligo, Craigs, Castlebar, Balnesloe and Lochray in Pool A. In Pool B, Corinthians Black, Westport, Connemara, Uchtarard, Corb and Corinthians Blue. In Pool C, Ballina, Galway Bay, Galwegians, Clare Morris, Dunmore and Munave. And in Pool D, remember there's only four teams in this group, it's Buccaneers, uh, Banrobe, Gort, and Carrick on Shannon. So that is the draw for the under 15 cup and we're uh, going to move on to the under 16 cup. Forgive me, there was nearly panic in my voice there because I thought, I thought I'd, uh, hadn't written down the under 16 teams, but I have, it's okay. Last year, Buccaneers won the final when they beat Lockeray and we have again uh, eight teams I can see who are seeded. And again, it's four pools and there are five teams in each pool. So. It should be uh, fairly straightforward, touch wood. We're going to move on. I'm going to mention the seeded teams, uh, Galway Bay, Craigs, Sligo, Buccaneers, Corinthians, Banna, Carrick and Shannon and Galwegians. They are our seeded teams for the Under-16 Cup. And this is a cup that's very dear to my heart because it's one I've won myself with Craigs a few years ago, more than a few years ago. Let's go to the seeded teams, less said the better about how long ago that was. We move on. They, uh, now, so all see the teams, they will put them in there 40. And we'll go with the first one, and that's A. And the first team that'll be in pool A is Craig's. <laughs> you swear that was planned. <laughs> and it's, I can tell you it wasn't. Next up, B. First team in pool B. Buccaneers. Buccaneers in B. In C. Carrick and Shannon. Kirk and Shannon doing phenomenally well in underage over the uh, past 12 months. And in D, Corinthians. So we have Corinthians. Let's keep going. First team in Pool A, that is the first seeded team and second seeded team in Pool A, will be Sligo. Would Jimmy Gavin be involved, I wonder? Of course, Jimmy, former Craig's great, now involved with Sligo and Sligo, Sligo Grammar at school's level. Galway Bay are in in Pool B, alongside Buccaneers, C, and they are Ballina. So Ballina and Carrick in the same group. And in D, joining Corinthians, is Galwegians. We have the first all, actually of all the groups, it's the first all city pairing <laughs> that I can think of. So, so, and it's under 16 level, so it will be a cracking match. Well, let's uh, have we, uh, is that our, I think that's our, <coughs> that's all our seeded teams. Yep. yep, that's all our seeded teams. So we now get our unseeded teams and we bring them to the table and they will go into the respective uh, groups. So Craig's, Sligo, Buccaneers, Goa Bay, Carrick, Ballina, Corinthians, Galwegians, and I'm just going to go through the unseeded teams just to show them to you. And they are Munave, Loch Ray, Connemara Uchtarard, Corrib, Clare Morris, Westport, Ballyhonis, Gort, Balnesloe, Tume, Dunmore, and finally Ballinrobe. So there are unseeded teams that go into the uh, into the pools for the under 16 cup. Remember the under 17 and under 18 and a half cup pool draws are still to come if you're keeping an eye on those. And the team that's going into pool A is, they're going to meet again, this time at under 16 level. It's Dunmore who are going to be 
uh, facing Craigs and Sligo in Pool A of the Under-16 Cup in Pool B. And that is Ballinrobe. On to Pool C. That team is Ballyhonus. Nice one. And Pool D. And the Pool D is Westport. So Westport drawn with Corinthians and Galwegians, Ballyhonus drawn with Carrick and Ballina, uh, Ballon Robe drawn with Buccaneers and Goway Bay, and Dunmore drawn with Craigs and Sligo. Claire Morris are in Pool A. Claire Morris in Pool A. In Pool B, and it's Tume. Into Pool C, Sean Higgins there, president of Tume at the moment. We'll be a very happy man to see that. Uh, moving to Lockeray, because Lockeray will be in pool C and in pool D and they are Connemara Uchtarard I think Connemara Uchtarard and Westport are in the under 15 cup draw as well uh, they, are in, they are indeed in pool B of the under 15 cup draw okay we've got four teams left to draw so these are the four and one of A will be in pool A Monave drawn with Craigs, Sligo, Dunmore, and Claire Morris in Pool B. It's Balnaslow. Balnaslow with Buccaneers, Goa Bay, Ballinrobe, and Tume in Pool C. And it's Gort. So a bit of a local derby for Gort, actually. They'll be playing Loch Ray as well as the Spins to Valley Harness, Balna, and Carrick and Shannon. Well, that depends obviously on the fixtures. And Pool D is Corb. So we have our pools for the. Bank of Ireland under 16 cup, and I'll recap them once again. In A, it's Craigs, Sligo, Dunmore, Clare Morris, and Mona Bay. B, Bucks, Goy Bay, Ballinrobe, Tume, and Ballinasloe. C is Carrick, Balna, Ballyhonus, Loch Ray, and Gort. And in D, you've got Corinthians, Galwegians, Westport, Connemar, Uchtarard, and Carb. They are the draws for the Bank of Ireland under 16 Cup and now we move on to the under 17 Cup and uh, just to repeat a slight change of format for this uh, the group and the group stages continue as they are but one team will have four and the others will have three so uh, group A will have four teams B, C and D will have three teams each and we do have seeded teams here as well you've got Buccaneers, Corinthians, Sligo, Ballina, Craigs, Lockeray and Galwegians and uh, let's have the teams the seeded teams for the under 17 remember seeded teams get drawn first unseeded teams get drawn after that I don't think 40 you've done this much standing in months uh, let's move to the first seeded team in group A and this is the four team group and it is Craig's I can see Aidan Farrell already going Mulligan why won't you give me a three team group for once tough Aidan next up Ballina Balna are in B, in C, it's Lockeray, and in D, and it is Sligo, so Sligo are in D. So the next team up in Pool A, and this is the four-team group, and it's Galwegians. Galwegians alongside Craigs. Next up in B, joining Balna will be... Buccaneers and I'm just doing a quick count I think have we got one more no we do have one more oh, it is and God forgive me for forgetting Corinthians <laughs> Corinthians in pool C alongside Loch Ray. so we now have our uh, seeded teams all ready to go in their respective pools so in pool A it's Craigs and Galwegians in B it's Balna and Bucks in C it's Loch Ray and Corinthians D on their own EO in uh, is Sligo, but the other teams still to be drawn. So we'll get the unseeded teams to now join them and we'll uh, again just show them to make sure all is perfect. Uh, first up, of course, you've got Munave, then you've got Connemara and Uchtarard, Carrick and Shannon, Gort, Castlebar, and finally Carib. So there we have it. Let's go. The first team, this will be in Group D, joining Sligo. And they are Munave. So Munave are in Group D alongside Sligo. Next up, we'll go into Group A, and that is Carrick and Shannon. 
and Carrick are in the same group as Craigs and Galwegians. The last team in Pool B, because remember it is a, a three-team group, is Gort. So Gort are in Group B alongside Balnan Buccaneers. Group C, again, a three-team group, and the team that will be joining them is Castlebar. And uh, the last team in Group D, and they are Connemara Ugderard. So there is one team left, and that is Corrib. So Corrib will be in the four-team group, and we'll recap on all of those under-17 groups again. Uh, Craigs, Galwegians, Carrick and Corrib, they're in Group A. In Group B, three-team group, it's Balna, Buccaneers and Gort. In C, it's Lockeray, Corinthians and Castlebar. And in D, it's Sligo, Munave and Connemara, Uchtarard. And uh, it is now time for the under-18s. I just want to remember, just to mention last year, of course, Buccaneers beat Corinthians in the final. I don't think I mentioned that in the introduction, but it's only fair to give them the, uh, the honour. And of course, they also won the under-16 Cup the year pre last year as well when they beat Lockeray in the decider. I didn't mention that either. Let's move to the under-18s. And the under 18s is always a very, very special competition because you do see some of the top players in the province involved in this age group. You've played in it yourself, Forty. It's the under 18 cup is just it's something different. Yeah, it's good because <coughs> it's uh, it's when the lads are are starting to develop and they're starting to to develop that that rugby brain and develop physically from the gym and stuff. So it is. It's a lot of lads are a lot of coaches and stuff are watching to see if they can get picked up into the likes of the academy mm. the sub academy so it is, yeah and then this is a, this is the thing i mean this is the age group where um you mentioned it and it's a very good point you've made for these guys playing at under 18 level i know there's an under 16 representative side but it's more of a development thing when you move into under 18 17s 18s and you're playing into provincial at that level you are playing at an incredibly high level at, once you get there yeah that's it um it's uh the the, the step up is definitely apparent and uh I remember it was definitely clear when I was playing. Um, lads definitely hitting the gym a lot more and stuff. But um, lads hitting you a lot, don't yeah, <laughs> lot more. Hitting the gym and hitting me. So uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is really special. And uh, it uh, you know to play in the under eighteen cup. If you do get a chance to play in the under eighteen cup, you know it's something that you can always put on your CV because it is so highly thought of. And I don't mean that just in Connacht, but right across the country, the under eighteen cup has this kind of level of Oh, how mystic mysticism about it when you play in the under 18 cup in any uh, province you've uh, arrived at a good level yeah it's it's, it's the the highest of the underage so it's it's definitely the it's the pinnacle of it yeah so it's, it's and when you're playing in under 18 i tell you that's the, you are playing at a very very special level indeed mm -hmm. we're going to move to the seeded teams now for the under 18 cup i'm going to mention them Galwegians, corinthians buccaneers sligo Bellina, and castle bar they are the teams that are seeded six in total so if we get them now again slight change in format two groups of four two groups of three in this pool a and b will have four teams each pools c and d will have three teams each so the first of the seeded teams that will go into pool a and it is corinthians corinthians into pool a pool b is Galwegians. Both teams in four team pools. C. And it's Sligo. And D. And that is Buccaneers. So we have Corinthians, Galwegians, Sligo and Buccaneers. The four teams that are uh, that's four. We've got two to go. Balna and Castlebar. So one of them will go into Pool A, the other into Pool B. And it's Balna that will go into Pool A and into Pool B. Let's get the formalities finished and done. It's Castlebar. Castlebar Club. I played it myself once upon a time, some years ago. Um, Corinthians, under Leon Jardine, actually, as it happened. Uh, Corinthians, Ballina, Galwegians, Castlevar, Leon, a former Corinthians player. Um, Sligo in C and Buccaneers in D. So we now get the unseeded teams and they will now go in to the cup and they will go into C and D first off and then we will finish the pools as they are drawn. So the teams, the unseeded teams are Claire Morris, Corrib, Ballinrobe, Tume and Dunmore, or Tume Dunmore, amalgamated. Westport. Lockray. 
Carrick and Shannon and Balnuslo. Carl, all yours. So who's going to join Corinthians and Ballon? Uh, actually, no, who's going to join Sligo? And it's Westport. Westport are in Pool C and also uh, in uh, moving into Pool D, the team that'll be drawn there. And it's Toom Dunmore. So Toom Dunmore, just to write that down, in Pool D. Okay, we move into Pool A again. So who's joining Corinthians and Ballina? And it's Carob. Okay. On to Pool B, Goegians and Castlebar. Who's joining them? And it is Ballinrobe. Ballinrobe. Now, the next team is the last team for Pool C. And that is Lockray. Lockray and C. And in D, joining Buccaneers and Chumdunmore are Carrick and Shannon. Absolutely brilliant. Now, we have, uh, I think there's just two teams left. And they are going to A and B. And in A goes Balnaslow. And finally in B. And it is Claire Morris. So, so we have our four pools. A, B, C and D. And they are as follows. In A, Corinthians, Balana, Carb and Balnaslow. Uh, in B, Galwegians, Castlebar, Balnrobe and Claire Morris. In C, it's Sligo, Westport, Lockray, and in D, Buccaneers, Tum Dunmore, and Carrick on, and Shannon. And uh, that brings to an end the draw for the Underage Cups. Carl, just looking at those draws, give us your thoughts on them. There are, some, there are going to be some amazing games throughout all of the age groups all the way through the spring. That's it, yeah, there's, <coughs> there's some very good uh, matchups, we'll say. Um, you know, we had, uh, I remember the, the rivalries we had between the likes of Weegians or uh, Buccaneers, Balanced Low and stuff. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's massively exciting for them. It really is. It's going to be something very, very special. And just to repeat that the details of when the games are being played, all of that will be up soon on the Connacht Rugby website. Carl, thanks very much for joining us and uh, best of luck with the shoulder you should be back fairly soon anyway all going well yeah, and uh, thanks to all the guys here in platform 94 take a little break for a few moments because we have got the girls cup draws coming up very very soon and i've got a very special guest joining us to do those draws so make sure you come back to us very very shortly but from here in platform 94 thanks to our sponsors uh, bank of ireland of course don't forget dexcom stadium is where those finals are going to be played and to all the guys behind the cameras and on sound as well, say a very special word of thank you. But I'll be seeing you again in a couple of minutes. So we'll talk to you then.